Hey there guys, a long overdue video today and it's to show you how to operate the UVB and micro array together or any other LED bar light really. And so I've got one set up here. That's the uh, UVB, it's a two foot fixture, 60 centimeters long, 20 watts power consumption and will cover a four by four and even up to a five by five adequately. You can put them into a smaller size area as well, um, as long as you maintain the hanging height of about 60 centimeters or two foot above the plant canopy. You can put it into a smaller area and the trick with that is that the reflective walls will not reflect UVB. So you'll get the UVB directly down onto the plant canopy at the same intensity as in the center, for example, of a four by four, um, but you won't get any reflected off the edges. So with this 4x4 setup, as you can see here, we've got the array hanging at the uh, recommended about 10 inches or 25 centimeters or thereabouts above the, um, the top of the plant canopy. And then we've got the UVB hanging um, an additional about 40 centimeters or about 16, 18 inches above the array again. And the reason for that is because the UVB can be quite intense directly under the fixture. Our fixture has a special um, surface on the reflector that reflects UVB. It's a raw aluminium finish. Lots of other reflectors will have a um, very thin layer of plastic coating or, or paint uh, acrylic over the surface of uh, the reflective surface. And this bit like glass would do in a greenhouse will block out the UVB and prevent it from reflecting. So with our fixture, you'll get a lot more UVB um, emitted from the fixture because the literally half of the UVB um, rays are going upwards from the fluorescent tube and then being reflected back down by the reflector or at least most of them. So with this setup, you just gotta be careful about the center point um, being too intense at the UVB, hence that pretty high um, recommended hanging height of, uh, as I said, two feet or 60 centimeters. At this height, we're going to simulate a level of UVB, which will be very similar to um, sunlight, uh, which will be in the region of about 100, 120 uh, microwatts per centimeter squared. And I'm using this solar meter UVB sensor. To, uh, to measure. I'll go over and have a look now. Next thing just to talk about of course is safety. UVB will burn you over time. It's the same as um, pretty much the same output or similar output as a tanning lamp and therefore don't spend uh, a, a, any period of time really underneath the lamp particularly if you're getting within two or three foot within a meter of the fixture even five minutes or more that close to it will give you some skin burn and um, same for eyes. So, you know, glass um, will protect your eyes from the UVB rays. But really, it's no different than being out in the sun, in strong midday sun. So you just do the same precautions. You don't have to uh, go overboard with anything in terms of protection or anything. Simplest thing is just to have it off when you're working in the grow room. Um, and particularly just don't get too close to it. Closer you get, the higher intensity and um, the quicker you could burn. So yeah, let's have a look. We'll just, uh, I'm just gonna show you the readings um, for the UVB. So the principle here is that the um, UVB rays will pass through the Array 8 fixture here. You can see the Array 8 only covers, it's less than 20% of the surface area of the plant canopy or the total grow area. So 80% of the UVB rays are gonna pass through. Some of course will be hitting the fixture and I'm going to show you later, we've tested the UVB rays with the array fixture to see is there any damage done to the fixture over long periods of time. I'm going to show you those results later on. But in the meantime, as you can see, 80% will be passing through. I'm just going to demonstrate the, uh, the UVB levels and how consistent they are um, in this setup. So I'm just going in for a short period of time, so you know but uh, I'm going to show you these readings. So hopefully you can see the readings here. So directly underneath a plant canopy level, we've got a reading of 200. So that's the highest intensity. And as you move over to 
the edges. Drops a little bit directly under the fixture, but there's still quite a lot getting past. And we move out to the edges and we're dropping off again underneath the fixture where the rays are. We're getting 60, 70 until that point. We do the same front to back. We got again, we've got the, the 200 at the, uh, the center. As we move forward, dropping to 150 now. It's about a, a foot away from the center, halfway. And then when we get right to the very edge, we still got 70 uh, microwatts per centimeter squared. So you can see there's consistent coverage uh, or consistent penetration of the UVB through the LED bar fixture and you can get a nice even spread of the UVB across your grow. In terms of timing and dosage and usage, I recommend um, last uh, three weeks of flowering for photos, last two weeks for autos. And um, that is because the UVB is there just to stimulate oil production in the plant. It will actually negatively affect growth. So it'll take energy away from um, putting on mass and bulk, which you want the plant to do right up through veg and, and into flowering. But it will divert some of that energy into generating oils to protect the plant. And that results in increased flavonoids and terpenes, which means increased flavor and taste. Lots of good anecdotal information or feedback from people that they're um, getting a good result from the fixture. And also we've got some test results you can see on the website or the, um, our Instagram page where we posted some of the results. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the basic setup. As I said, you can use this UVB in a smaller area. You can use it even in a two by two, uh, same period of time. Um, so about a couple of hours per flower cycle or per light cycle, I should say, while flowering. And um, you will get the relatively high intensity in it, but not too high because as I said, effectively a lot of the um, UVB photons will be wasted. They'll be going into the side walls and uh, not bouncing back onto the plant canopy. So we're running a test for the last couple of months on the UVB with the array combined, um, putting up a few thousand hours on it just to see does it do any damage to the finishes. And I'm going to show you that now. It's up in the, uh, the test area. But this is the uh, very sophisticated um, test area. Simple but effective. Um, and what I've done is we set this up on the 10th of September and we've been running this for 60 days uh, by 24 hours, which is 1,440 hours. And that is, if you, if you consider that normal dosage per run would be three weeks or 21 days by two hours or 42 hours in total, you divide the 1,440 by 42, it's 34 runs. So that's years and years basically of, um, of running time that we put into this. And what I've done is we have suspended, you can see that there, the UVB over uh, an array two, it's a sample bit of material. And I'm gonna switch it off now and uh, we will see what the result is. I obviously covered up a little bit of the material. I covered up a bit of the um, aluminium heatsink, and I covered a little bit of the steel connector plate, stainless steel, which has an acrylic coating on it. And I just want to see if there's any um, fading or damage done to that, or the, uh, the silicone cable or the plastic gland. Now, just taking it off here, the first thing I noticed and uh, we'll just open it up here. Is the box faded. So it definitely does have an effect on some pigments or colouring. You'll see here, well, hopefully you'll see here in the light. You can see, yes, you can see it. <clears throat> so here's the, the line of the UVB where it was impacting the side wall. And you can see there's been fading there of the, uh, the cardboard. So what's happened to the fixture? Show you now. So put these, uh, covered these areas. So first of all, I can't really see any 
specific damage or fading, it looks as normal. But I did cover up areas. And you can see here where it was covered and where it's been exposed. Uh, to the UVB, there's no difference either on the. Um, get it under the light. I should have cleaned this first, it's a bit dusty. But you can see there's no damage there basically on, um, on either of those. And also, no damage, no sign of fading or anything on the, um, on the silicone cabling or the um, plastic band. I was actually quite surprised. I thought there might be a little, uh, particularly for that duration, but happy to report there isn't. Um, it may be different now with um, other paint pigments. They may fade, but I think that's the worst um, you're going to get is some discoloration. The same as if you left something in a, in a window ledge or out in the sun. Um, if it's uh, rubber, natural rubber, may break down over a long period of time. There's very little natural rubber products around anymore, so I don't see there's a huge risk of that. So yeah, that's it. How to run your UVB. Hope this helped. I laid some fears about running the UVB and uh, looking forward to your questions and comments. Take care.